what's going on YouTube? Why Kanye the Great here with another build video. Our day one Worlds vs. Attempt raid build. So, full disclosure guys, I have never completed a raid, but that's okay. We're going to be doing our first attempt this Saturday. We got a uh, pretty fine team together, but we do have a couple spots still open. If you want to join us for that fun and probably a 20 plus hour stream let me know and before i forget hit the like button sub button and join button and notifications on always so you never miss a build video or a live stream we do live stream every single day but like i said we might not have completed a raid myself a lot of our guys on the team have and i am fully prepared and have done all the research necessary so that you guys don't have to do all that research you can just watch this video and be ready uh as this information is valid and uh will definitely help you uh, as it's going to be across the board for all classes, uh, including Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. So, uh, these are just going to be some basic tips, and I'm going to be going over my build. So, first off, if we're going into the day one raid, you want to have your favorite PvE weapons already ranked up. Okay, we don't know necessarily if it what kind of champion mods we're going to need, whether it's Unstoppable, Anti-Barrier, or uh, Overload, right? So, we're basically already gonna have all of our weapons ranked up and here's the other thing about the rank of the raid you need to be at at the very minimum and max 1530 okay, it's competition mode so uh they do cap your power at 15 okay so if you're 1525 make sure you guys uh you know do some triumphs do some uh some quests do some bounties whatever you gotta do to get to that 1530 because that's gonna be the level you're gonna really wanna do. And that doesn't matter about gear or power bonus, as long as you're 1530, that's good to go, okay? So the next thing you wanna do is make sure you have a couple weapons around that. We have our Outbreak Perfected, really great gun uh, for ads and even a boss clear if you have a couple other people with it. So uh, just in case a couple other people are bringing the Outbreak Perfected, I'm bringing that. Then we have a Dead Man's Tail with Vorpal. If you don't have Vorpal, I probably wouldn't be bringing it in. But with Vorpal and the artifact mod uh, anti-barrier, this is going to be great. Same thing here, uh, we have a Hung Jury okay, with explosive payload. Now, uh, this is our legendary version, okay, uh, to give us uh, a lot of flexibility with our build. As you can see, this is my uh, standard build that I'm going to go in with first. But then if things go sideways, as we know raids can do that, uh, we're going to uh, have abilities to switch it up. So again, we have an Arbalist here, already ranked that up to 1525. We have a Wither Horde. We have the new Ostra Striga. We have a Bow. Again, Bows have the uh, anti-barrier rounds as well. Um, and then here we have Ignition Code with Blinding Grenades. Okay. So down here, we have the new Funnel Web range finder and subsistence and when you combine that with the volatile flow we're going to go over all the mods here in a little bit that you should be running and it as a lot of the mods are going to be disabled for the 24 hour first rate attempt so please keep that in mind uh i do have a glaive just in case but without suppressive glaive uh it's really pointless in my opinion especially for hunters because as we were suppressing we were going invisible now um Again, Warlocks and Titans, they weren't as good, but they're still really good weapons. So I do have it. Um, Trinity Ghoul is one of the best PvE ad clear weapons in the game. So I'm just bringing this just in case. Again, anti-barrier. I mean, an unstoppable mod for uh, Pulse Rifles. We have the new Battler with Demolitionist and Blunt Execution Rounds. That's going to be very powerful. Um, a Legendary Bow, uh, God Roll, Dragonfly, and Explosive Head. We have another Blinding Grenades. We have a Tessaloso. We have the La Monarch. We even have a Cartesian Coordinate with Vorpal. Okay. So uh, that is going to be our energy weapons. And then, of course, the Ruinous Effigy works really good with Volatile Flow. And when you do uh, get that orb, it protects and have the Volatile Flow. That orb actually will destroy adds and blow them up, and you're being protected. So extra protection. Uh, tons of damage, and if you didn't know, uh, exotic trace rifles just got a massive buff in PvE. Okay, so for our heavy, uh, 
First off, I'm rocking in with the Adept Hothead Explosive Light, but if we need to, we can rock the Gallahorn or the Parasite. So if I wanted to rock the Gallahorn really quick, let's say we all wipe and I gotta, you know, put a new build together before we do the next. I can throw a funnel web in here and then up here put a grenade launcher and then boom, now we have a Gallahorn setup within just a couple of seconds. And I mean, we could change this out real quick to a grenade launcher scavenger. All very easy, right? All right, so next up on the list is the mods that you want to be looking at here in the artifact, okay? Uh, take a look at these, but definitely you want the first row obviously unlocked, right? Now, if you're going to be doing this first raid attempt, you most likely have most of these unlocked. Um, the next one that I'm going to be unlocking is this one right here, Devouring Depth, Casting Your super while you are critically wounded or benefiting from devour increases the damage that you're in that super but i'll tell you why in a minute why i have this one however uh you definitely um again this one right here suppressive glaive that's getting um uh shut down for 24 hours you can't use it you definitely want volatile flow um this one right here lucent finisher amazing this one right here thermoshock plating amazing this one right here, Rocket Launcher Scavenger, amazing. Uh, I highly suggest going into uh, uh, well builds. And uh, if you're a Titan or a Warlock, definitely the melee well makers are great. But as a Hunter, I don't really think those are the best. As our melee is kind of weak, it's more for going invisible. So um, I would actually go with the Ordnance or the Repeating Well. Um, and then combine that with uh, volatile flow or you can even come over here and rock it with font of might okay um and you, you can even stack these you stack uh volatile flow only increases the tick damage and gives tick damage there. and font of might will increase the base damage on subclass so again it it would most likely be like let's say my funnel web we would be combining volatile flow with font of might and that thing melt but again you only have five slots to play with and we're going to go over all my slots. Um, I do have Unstoppable Glaive. That will still work um, if we do rock the Glaive. We, this one's very important. Overload Grenades. Um, again, these won't really work with the Suppression being shut down for the 24 hours. Okay, so that's the Artifact Mod. Let's go over here to our actual uh, build here on the armor. We're rocking Lucid Finisher, Overload Grenades, and Radiant Light. So I can get a little extra uh, melee strength so I can go invisible even more. Um, here we are on the legs. I have Rocket Launcher Scavenger, Trace Rifle Scavenger, Well of Tenacity. Well of Tenacity is definitely the replacement that you want uh, for Protective Light. Protective Light now only gives a 10% damage reduction. Well of Tenacity gives a 50% reduction. Okay. And then our exotic we're rocking, Omni Oculus. Now, if I was a Titan, I'd probably be rocking Heart of Inmost Light. If I was a Warlock, I don't know what the fuck I'd do. Now, with this one, the Omni Oculus is great uh, because it does give you resist on your ability and it gives you two smoke grenades. So now, uh, every time I dodge near a target, I'm going to get a, a melee back and I have spec high into ability and strength. So I'm basically, I timed it. We're always invisible. I'm also going to go over the fragments here, what's really important in the raid. Over here, we have Unstoppable Pulse Rifle, Fastball Powerful Friends. Now, Fastball is just a... I, I just hate limp dick grenades, but we're most likely going to have to take it off um, depending on the weapons and the champion mods. Again, this is where all of our champion mods are going to be anti-barrier, unstoppable, and overload. Right? Okay, and on our helmet, we just have a rocket launcher, ammo finder, and repeating well maker. Every time I dodge... Um, or every time you're as a warlock, you drop your rift, or as a titan, you drop your shield. Uh, then you your next kill basically will drop a well. This is a fantastic one. Basically, the easiest way to make wells because we can basically make wells every 10 seconds, and volatile rounds last for about 17 seconds. So, now, uh, lastly, let's go over uh, some of the important stuff of uh, the build. I'm going with Mobius Quiver. Obviously, it's one of the best uh, DPSs in the game. But you could also rock Stasis. You could also rock whatever uh, Void build, you know, uh, super that you want. Uh, stasis and Void are probably the number two 
number one and number two uh, supers, unless you're a warlock. Now, if you're a warlock, you might be rocking um, the uh, solar or void or stasis, but uh, I think hunter's probably gonna, for the most part, be on void or stasis. Um, but if you're on void, uh, melee final blows start health regeneration for you and your nearby allies. Amazing uh, fragment here. Um, this one, Void buffs applied to you. Invisibility has increased duration. Same thing for Overshields, Devourer. Um, that's very important. It is going to take away whatever class ability number you have by 10. Right there, I, I'm losing mobility. Titans are going to lose resilience. And Warlocks are going to lose recovery. Now you're wondering, we go back over here, how do I have 100? Well, technically I have 100. Anyways, last fragment here that I'm rocking is just for some extra stats, extra 10 mobility, extra 10 intellect. Again, we're losing 10 mobility here. So these extra stats are nice. Uh, without that 10 intellect, we'd be under the threshold of 30. We'd be at 26, I believe. And that's just way too slow to get over. Over here, we're rocking Trapper's Ambush. And we're rocking Vanishing Step. Again, if it wasn't for the nerf, and well, it's not even nerf. They're just shutting Suppressive Blade down for a while. I'd be rocking Stylish Executioner as that would be the build for going invis every time you suppress a target. But because that's not even going to be there, we're just going to use Trapper's Ambush and the Omni Oculus. Okay. Now, uh, a couple other things. If there's hardcore jumping puzzles, I am bringing Stompies with me. Uh, I do have some lucky pants for whatever reason I have those. We'll probably find a hand cannon maybe to bring with. As you guys know, the lucky pants do melt with a hand cannon for five seconds. Deals quite a bit of extra damage. Maybe the malfusions with this would be good. But this is the one I actually want to show you is the Orpheus rig. This now will, will fire three volleys. Okay, so this is a great exotic to bring with you for the day one rig hunter. Um, again, for Titans and Warlocks, there's quite a few things that you guys can bring as well. But the key concept is bring your favorite exotics, your favorite weapons. Make sure that they're all powered up. Over here, we have the Graviton Forfeit as a backup exotic. So I do have quite a few uh, options to go with. I even have uh, Worm Husk, just in case. It'd be so hard I need as much health as possible. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be rocking the Worm Husk. This is my Cyclops build. Yes. Good old-fashioned Cyclops a pretty cool name actually yeah we should we should patent that anyways guys if you guys enjoyed uh this last minute prep uh tips uh please hit the like button sub button join button notifications on always so you never miss a single one this also one last little tip before you do go into the raid make sure you have a couple of the ready on hand with a couple of blues or purples that you don't care about but make sure you grab a couple upgrade modules just to have in your uh, inventory because you might need to rank something up um, in short notice. Also, I suggest having the E2 uh, Armor Picker app uh, downloaded on your phone before this event so that you, if you do need to, you can go into your vault with that app without having to pull your whole fire team back into orbit. Uh, but again, make sure everything is ranked up and you have all your favorite stuff and you'll be fine. Good luck, everybody, on this day one raid, and I'll see you in the next one.